Chasing Shadows is the fifth full-length album from Sonata. This is a Warsaw, Poland-based quartet who have basically worked in some level of experimentation or a full paradigm shift in between each record that they've released. And in this case, they've changed less the way that they produce rhythms and more so the way that they vocally present themselves. And that gives us a little bit more of a almost post-metal feeling record in some sense, a little bit of a psychedelic doom, re doom metal record in others. And then elements of uh, grunge and harmonized vocals that make this uh, a curious record overall and something different than I would have expected as a follow-up to their most recent album. So when I reviewed Burning in Heaven, Melting on Earth, I really appreciated the dynamic style of the vocalist and the way that he developed a lot of different types of feeling that matched up with the pacing of that record it felt like an experience and it was it was pretty cool the way that it was put together this record it for its first half it focuses on vocal harmonization which is uses i guess hooks from grunge of the, the the early 90s in terms of the way that it frames some of those harmonizations so if you're a fan of bands like sleep and uh, ufo mammoth and yob you'll understand some of what this record is doing if you're a fan of like post-metal like russian circles and and other groups like that you'll understand more of what this band is doing but if you're a fan of like jerry cantrell's degradation trip it will make a lot more instant sense and probably appeal for you to pick this up and check it out because there is that level of harmonized vocal that carries through the first five songs or so on this record that really defines it as an experience now this is almost an hour long so that isn't all there is to say about it but let's cut to a clip and get a sense of what i'm describing up front As interesting as those harmonized vocals and those alternative rock and grunge inspired moments are for the album vocally to start, there is a sense that this album is a little bit of a one trick pony, although it does some amazing things with those those styles. I think songs like Wishbone and Chimera are uh, pretty unforgettable once they've passed, and uh, Torn is especially kind of... Uh, pretty cool as an introduction uh overall this record it has a lot of character to start it's almost annoying with the way that it uses those harmonized vocals but once i got past that that annoyance i think it was still a, a a solid record once we get to the second half or side b i think they lose the plot a little bit they there's a couple of psychedelic uh doom metal songs that are a little bit shapeless uh, there's one small reprisal of the style we find on the the opening of the album, but the mood has descended, the pace has dropped, and there's a less to really cling to as the second half of the record floats past. So I guess kind of the nagging thought as I listened to and, and re-listened to the album was, why not cut some of these songs, make it a more succinct experience, and just get just go right through it a bit faster because the real knack and the real interest on the record is on the first half and at 53 minutes it's a little bit overdone it's a little bit overblown and uh, the fact that the closer is a five minute song that really does nothing just felt like excess where it wasn't needed it didn't feel necessary or relevant to the experience other than just kind of padding it out as far as you could and uh from my understanding, padding out a vinyl release doesn't really do anything but lower the quality of the actual render. So pluses and minuses to that whole approach. I just think that the the efficacy of the record is obviously all very front loaded, and if you, I wouldn't blame you if you cut off your interest about six songs in, because that's essentially what I did overall after listening to it, uh, well over ten fifteen times. So otherwise, I'm a fan of this band. I've liked what they've done since the previous record. I think this is a very interesting follow up that uh, it, I really appreciate that they've done something different and uh, remained tuneful, a little bit heavy, and uh, just uh, full of ideas. So that releases today. Check it out for yourself. See what you think and uh, read my review if you'd like more details on, on what I thought and my own experience with it. I've traveled, I've traveled.